This is Octobot Switch with another video review. And this review is extraordinarily special because thanks to the folks at NECA Toys directly, I am one of the very first people outside of them to actually get their hands on this brand new Robocop figure featuring a spring loaded holster. Now this is going to be trickling into your Toys R Us's and things of that nature here shortly, but I am so thrilled to be one of the first people to kind of show you this guy. This is a figure that I have really been waiting for, and I'm absolutely thrilled that they were able to actually somehow get the spring-loaded holster uh, gimmick incorporated into the Robocop figure. As you can see, really nice kind of Robocop packaging on here. You've got his body in the background. Awesome, iconic image here. Kind of of a... Well, stumpy head, I guess. You can see that inside there is his gun. It's inside the actual holster area. And then he also comes with his, uh, well, dagger of doom, I'm going to call it. But in reality, that's the way that Robocop accesses computers, which to me, that's kind of weird. That, that was just done, if you ask me, so he could stab people with it. But fantastic looking figure. Flip it around here on the back, and you have the instructions for the actual holster action, which I'm going to demonstrate for you here in the actual review and things of that nature. But absolutely awesome. 25th anniversary of the iconic Robocop character. You got the OCP logo there. Part man, part machine, all cop. The future of law enforcement. And of course, OCP Police 001. So, absolutely fantastic. Got all the things here on the bottom, and of course, Randy Falk. Again, very special thanks to Randy, who I met at San Diego Comic-Con 2012. Stand-up dude, fantastic guy to talk to. Literally took time away to come over and talk to me, and just kind of basically just BS with me for a while. So, without further ado, let's get him open and see how cool he actually is. So here we have the spring-loaded holster Robocop opened up and out of its packaging. Now, I have every single Robocop that NECA has released so far. Just the regular version, the battle-damaged version, and the glow-in-the-dark Toys R Us exclusive version. This one here is my absolute favorite. This really isn't much different from the original one, except the play factor of having the spring-loaded holster here built into his leg just makes this so much better of a figure, in my opinion. Now, uh, just for a size comparison, well, not even a size comparison, just a comparison, here is the spring-loaded holster version, and here's the standard version. Now, right off the bat, when you kind of look at it, honestly, at least to me, this one looks like it's got a different kind of paint scheme going on with it. Not terribly different than what we got originally. This one just kind of looks uh, just a little bit better, if you ask me. And then his feet have a little bit of a difference in terms of the paint. That's It's really kind of difficult to tell. Zooming in, you can kind of see it a little bit better. This one just has a little bit more blue tone to it. Now, I don't know if this is designed that way, but it really kind of has a little bit more of a Robocop 2 look. And then coming down to his feet, you can see that the original version has a little bit darker of a, a foot paint scheme, I suppose, than what we have here on the new one. But honestly, I really do prefer the look of the new spring loaded holster version. All the way up though, you can see absolute exquisite detail built into the figures. Both of them are unbelievable. Even when you come to the actual face without actually having the rights to use the original actor Peter Weller's likeness, they do a terrific job of capturing it, mostly because all you're really showing off is the lower section of his mouth. So there's a little bit of a cheat right there that allows them to get away from some of those pesky uh, likeness rules. But whatever they're doing, they're giving us spot-on looking representations of characters that we know and love, in this case, Robocop. Now, for uh, one of his accessories, he does come with his data spike. I, I think that's actually what it's specifically called. Much like all the other versions of Robocop that we've gotten. And all you have to do is come around here. This arm, just pop it off. And that, you give a little rotate and twist. And boom, you have Robocop's data spike. Which, like I said, is, in, in my opinion, just a way for the movie makers to make something gruesome out of something that really should just kind of be an innocent input device but i absolutely love that that's included it's a essential piece of this character and in every single version of robocop as i said he comes with it and that's absolutely the way it should be 
Now, as for its articulation, it's exactly what we've gotten previously. The head is on a little bit of a ball joint, so you get a very nice range of motion. Looks down, doesn't look up quite as much, but the ab crunch here allows you to really kind of pull this back and really kind of make them look up. I mean, that is wonderful and very kind of accurate. That's basically the movement that RoboCop would have done to look up. So I absolutely love that attention to detail. The shoulders here do move in and out. It is a little bit more limited because of the way that the armor is, but I don't mind that at all. Rotates all the way around. Um, that's it for the articulation of the shoulder. The elbow here bends forward and back. It, it, that's as far as it goes on both sides. I, I do wish it could get a little bit higher, more of a 90 degree angle, but again, you're limited by the actual mold and the accuracy of the costume on this. So it doesn't bug me really all that much. It's just one of those, I wish kind of things. But you can't always get what you wish for, obviously. Uh, so, I mean, he does rotate as well. I mean, you got that ab crunch, and then it also does rotate very nice, and then kind of wiggles back and forth. He does also rotate at the waist itself. The legs here move forward and back, and they kind of, you can't kind of keep them straight like this, but when you move them forward, they rotate out like so. But that really isn't all that bad. It's perfectly fine. It's almost kind of like a ball joint here. The knees here, they bend. Nicely, they're on kind of ratchet joints, so you get a nice range of motion there. And, oh, wait, nah, there we go. Got a little bit stuck right there. And then the ankles also are on a little bit of ratchet joints. And I love the fact that the piston still moves in and out as you move the ankle. Wonderful, wonderful articulation on this figure. And you can get him into a variety of poses to recreate some of your absolute favorite scenes. But the absolute best part of this figure is the spring-loaded holster. Now, getting this up, I'm going to kind of zoom in here. Now, I will tell you that you do have to be careful with this. Now, initially when I did it, I didn't follow the instructions. Shame on me. And I actually popped off one of these panels. I was able to get it back on, but you do want to be careful when you're doing it. To actually get it to deploy, you just take this and you push it up. And kind of get that there and go push it up and boom it opens that up. You got a panel that slides forward. You can see his gun inside there. And then you got this panel here on the side. Now, what I tried doing was the absolute wrong way of doing it. And that's pushing this in instead of this. To actually get it to go back in, you want to push this piece in. This piece will automatically go in with it. So as you push it in, give it a little bit of a push and boom, it locks back into place. Don't do anything. Don't touch that. If you push that in, you're probably going to pop it off. And then again, just flip this little switch and it opens up. Now, the only drawback is it's kind of hard to get into his, his leg here and actually get his gun. So I just use a pair of tweezers and pull it out. And then, then you can take the gun and fit it nicely into his hand and, well, nicely into his hand. And again, recreate some absolutely awesome iconic scenes by having his leg opened up, positioning them however you really want in his arm out because that's kind of how he would always shoot with uh, his arm out kind of balancing himself but this is amazing absolutely amazing the sheer fun factor of this is out of this world i mean i've not been able to stop flipping the switch on here for a long time and then you kind of put it back in there and you can see that there's a little hole or i'm sorry a little peg right there that goes in where the trigger would be you just kind of slide it in there once you get it lined in, kind of just push that in there. And then again, push this closed. Give it a little push. You have to, no, more than a little push. There, come on. There we go. Oh, I'm an idiot. I was holding my finger there. Ugh, God, all right. Boom, just like that. Don't put your finger there. Otherwise, you'll, you'll get a little, a little look at that. It hurt my finger. I'm suing. I'm suing. No, I'm just, but... Now, I, I know some people are probably going to complain because, oh, we, we bought all those other RoboCops and now we got to buy another one. Really, in my opinion, that's what's called supporting the line. And I seriously hope that these things sell off the shelves instantly. I'm just absolutely beyond impressed with this figure. And as I said, I really expect this to be the definitive version, <laughs> at least until they come out with another one that's even better than this. But... As of right now, this is the definitive version of RoboCop. If you guys are a fan of the original franchise, this is a figure to pick up without any hesitation. And much like in my earlier review, one of my only complaints 
is that we need a bigger version of this guy. NECA, really, give it to us. Don't, you don't even have to put, I mean, this is perfectly fine. This is the old Kenner one. You don't have to put any more articulation in it. Just give us a bigger one. Robocop needs an arch enemy to be pointing his gun at. That beautiful gun that wonderfully comes out of his leg now. <laughs> but that's about it, guys. So I want to thank you for tuning in again. Once again, thank you to NECA for sending this out to me. I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, this has been Optobotomus. I'll talk to you later.